Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video, I will be completing our week three prove milestone. So in the previous video, I got us started on all this stuff, but there were a couple things that we had to change. Let's go ahead and start with that now. So I'm gonna open that up. Uh, we need spaces after these question marks. I just selected all those by hitting Control D. So we need spaces there. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to get 0 .00 at the subtotal. But first, um, let's go ahead and compute the subtotal, all right? So if we go back to our assignment prompt, let's see here. Determine the meal subtotal by multiplying the number of children by the price of their meal. Okay, let's start with that. Um, so I'll say price of child meals equals, we have child meal price times child count. All right. And then I'll do the same thing. I just hit control C and control V to copy that line. And instead this time we're gonna say adult for all of those. So price of adult meals equals adult meal price times adult count. Okay, then the subtotal equals price of child meals plus price of adult meals. I think that's right, let's double check. Um, and multiplying the number of adults by the price of their meal and adding those two values together. Sweet. So uh, it is as simple as that. Let's run it and see if it works for us. So up arrow, we'll run the last command that I did. So price of a child's meal. Let's make this simple. I'll say a price uh, or a child's meal is one buck and an adult's meal is a buck 50. All right, we have two children. So that'll be two bucks and one adult. So this should be 350. Um, 0 0.05. Okay, so we have a subtotal of 3.5. So that was a very simple test case, uh, but it passed. All right, we got 3.5 and that's what we needed. Now we have to figure out how to get the subtotal to display with two zeros. Uh, if we look back at the assignment here, um, notice how it shows those two zeros right there. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna Google Python uh, display number uh, to two decimal places. Yes, that's what I want. Display display a float with two decimal places. We are using floats right here. Um, and let's see if we can find a nice simple way to do this. Uh, you could use string formatting operator. Okay, so you could use something like that. Um, that's a really similar thing. It's saying up to two decimal points. Uh, we're already using print format and there's the variable name, I said it'd be subtotal. Uh, I think this looks like it might be the easiest way to do that. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. I'm gonna copy that. Well, I'll copy this whole thing. And then in here, I'll just put that right in with subtotal, okay? So let's give that a shot. I'm gonna hit up arrow again, hit enter. And this time I'll say that the child's meal is 5.5. Whoops, adult meal is 6.5. There's one adult or one child and two adults. So this should be 6.5, uh, 18.5. Whoops, I forgot to give a value for the taxes. Let's try that again. 5.5, 6.5, 1, 2, 0.05, 18.5. And look, we have, the, we have it to two decimal places, okay? So that worked for us. Um, and I think I'll stop this video there, okay? That is all, um, that's all we have to do for the week through milestone. Okay, and we'll pick it up uh, with uh, with the lesson four proof. So uh, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any additional questions after this, just let me know. Thank you so much.